this is Gigi's tiny house. The exterior of it, you can see it's on a fifth wheel trailer frame. This area under the extension can be used for a storage area. If you build around and make walls to enclose it. And then now we're looking at the back side of the house. And stepping back to get some distance. You can see that it's got a metal roof. It's a shed roof that's sloped and it is sited in hardy board plank siding. So it's very resistant to fire and very solid. We are now standing right inside the front door and looking at the living area. As you can see, there's room for two chairs and other furniture that you might like. And if we continue on to the left, you can see our kitchen eating bar. And right beyond that is the refrigerator with a bottom storage, a freezer compartment. And directly opposite the bar and the refrigerator are the kitchen cabinets, a nice counter, with lots of space, and then up above that, storage, a big window, gets lots of light, and then more storage. As far as actually cooking, we have an induction heating unit that comes with a skillet and these two pans. And then you also have room for, like there's a crock pot here, and you could add a toaster and or a toaster oven. And there is lots of room on top of the refrigerator for a microwave. Now, if we head towards the bathroom, we will move our sliding door, and you will see that we have a towel rack, a nice circular shower, a vanity, and a sink a medicine cabinet, and a kind of fun IKEA light fixture. And last but not least, we have a Nature's Head composting toilet with its manual and its instructions for your guests. And all of this is so that you don't have to be connected to a septic or a sewer system. You just need to find a good, safe way to dispose of gray water. Now, as we turn it back around and walk through the kitchen area towards the living area, you see we have a closet. And the closet can be configured in a variety of ways. We've just got a shelf unit in here to give you some ideas. The closet itself is eight feet tall. No, it's seven feet tall and it's almost six feet wide. And right now it's housing the heating air conditioning split unit that needs to be installed. Now, for other storage, we also have storage under the stairs. 
The bottom two stairs are hinged, as you can see, and you can put a whole variety of things under these stairs. Now, taking the stairs up, we go to the sleeping area, and right now we have a queen-size bed in this area. And if you turn around, you can see that the headboard is, is part of the closet, the back of the closet serves as the headboard. And then the light fixture can be focused in, in several ways that will light both the bedroom area and the seating area. This trailer was built on a fifth wheel chassis. The living area on the bottom floor is 24 feet long. The bedroom area is seven feet long. So the total area is 31 feet long and it's built on an eight and a half foot wide chassis. So now we're standing on the stairs and taking a look at the main living area of the tiny home and I hope that you like Gigi's tiny house and that you would like to make it your tiny house.